<laughs> okay, anyways, back to the showiness. Um Okay, um in the in the world of strangeness, you know, moving on to, you know, phones and sun and other stuff. A mod that okay, if you really want it, but I have to honestly ask why? <laughs> There's a mod here. You saw it, I wrote it in the show notes. I think it's... I can't, I can't understand the mentality. To me, I cannot stand iOS's UI. I, I, yeah, the Apple person saying this. It's like, there's a mod for Android to turn it to function like iOS. And I'm like, what's the matter with you? so we'll just skip the fact that stores may be closing tomorrow. Uh, it, th this is an interesting point of view on the hardware dealing with uh, iOS and so forth. Um, it, it, and the Apple iPhone 4S. You know, it, I, this is another... Really? This is the way you're going to come at this? The headline is... Apple's iPhone 4S too powerful. It's, I, on it, it's on parody with everything else that's out now. Yeah, th that's the bit I'm. Well, wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! If it's not on, it's, it's not on par. If it is using a dual core GPU, a dual core CPU is one thing. But Apple employs also a dual core, a dual core GPU. That's why I was saying and, that and, they. And, and, and that is what. No one else is using a dual core GPU. That right in now. particular is what they're getting at. They're saying that it can now be a gaming device, which <laughs> means. Yeah, I know, I know, but this is the complaint. These, like I said, this is an interesting way to go with this. The complaint is since it can be a, a portable gaming device and it can run things like. Uh, first-person shooter engines and so forth, it's going to ruin the classic, you know, Angry Bird-style gaming that we've come to know and love. I, I want to get an article. Give me a, okay. Give me a, give me a, give me a Having played FPSs on a touchscreen-only device, it doesn't work. <laughs> I, it, it, I, I agree with that. Angry Birds is really easy if you're over here using something like a Roku with a gyro remote. You know, it's, it's just like, okay, let me see. According to physics, angular momentum, yeah, there. <laughs> it's ready, it worked. <laughs> so, I, I don't... I, they got an interesting point of view to be arguing this from. Uh, we'll wait a second for Bit to get right back. <laughs> All I can say as a gamer, the um, not everyone you know is into brands and stuff. I could care less about. I, I look at it from a technology point of view. Okay. Do you remember when we were discussing? And I, I even have a video, and it was stating you know iOS is not, it's, it's really essentially a gaming platform. It, it is. It was the double digit percentages uh, of applications and downloads and use was was all dedicated to games, right? 
It's entertainment and, and games. And the Economist, the Economist, uh, basically sheds light. This is a magazine, uh, the Economist, and, and and they also back up with another source, and they say uh, most popular categories, games. <laughs> 64% or, or 64, I guess it's the right, these aren't percentages, but 64, weather, that's number two, uh, social networks, number three, maps, that's number four, music, number five, and news, number six. Look at that. Games is on the top. And who the he- who is surprised by that? It's a multi-billion dollar industry. That's... Oh yeah, here. Top free apps, though. Uh, it, it goes over Android and Apple. But uh, this is what I love. See, you know, the, the, the top app, free app for Apple or iOS is called Hair Plucker. <laughs> what the hell? Is I don't know. I have to Google this now. Hair Plucker. Uh, uh, ben, what's the top one for Android? I have to ask. <laughs> Facebook. Uh, number surprise. two for Apple. Number two for Apple is Temple Run. Number three, Draw and Go. No, I'm sorry, Draw and Go Awesomeness. Is what ah, you, should, you you forgot how awesome its awesomeness is. You know. I almost thought this was a productive application. I almost did, but the second word screwed it up. Office Zombie. Oh, ah. Yeah. Number five for Apple, Google Plus. Androids run number one, Facebook. Number two, Google Maps. Number three, Talking Tom Cat 2. Number four, YouTube. Number five, MP3 Music Download Pro. I would say Android has a has has a bit more productive stuff on it. Uh, I mean, for its top app. Oh, no, and see that that goes to something that's indicative. It's um more. Uh, no, I mean, you know what this is? It's the it's the dumbasses in the meeting rooms that don't ever pay attention to what you're saying in these group meetings. But they're, they they know if they break out a, a Nintendo DS, they're going to get fired. But exactly. Hey, but they, they can bring out an iPhone. Oh, I'm just that. checking my email, sir. <laughs> Uh, uh, what's all that button pushing? Oh, it's an interactive email, sir. <laughs> yeah, you know, I mean, hello. I, I, like I said, I, I, I said it, I have videos on it. The, the proof is in the pudding. Yeah. I do find it funny that people are using Android, aside from the Facebook one, to actually get something productive done, and they're using iOS to... Do nothing. Yeah, yeah, play. <laughs> like, that's kind of funny. I'd like to see the statistics. Yeah, I just have some gumption and say, those of you that just want a game on iOS, have the balls to buy an Nintendo DS. Have the balls. Well, well, there's nothing wrong with buying an, an iPhone uh, to game, because, you know, you can, s- well, I was going to say you can still use it as a phone, but... No! <laughs> In the old days of Mac versus PC, in the old days of Mac versus PC, the Mac argument would be, you PC idiot custom builders, all you do is you build it to game. That's all you do is game! You don't do anything productive, worthwhile. This is my point, I think. I know. But it's shiny! It's shiny, bit. It's shiny! It looks pretty. It looks pretty. <laughs> it's so cute. Oh, yeah. that, that, that's what. That's what. I'm on the verge. Verge. I'm on the verge of getting a touchpad. Yeah. You know, I I I it's like. Web OS is still mid cranking out updates. I made an update out today, and, and guess what? The pairing of the device of which the feature I want the most is will now work with any phone. The touchpad will now make and receive phone calls from any damn phone that can that can pair with it, and it's a pretty big list. It will also do in t- incoming and, and, and outgoing SMS 
for any phone that is plus a Bluetooth map. See, this is making me wonder if HP isn't pulling some of this, this like underdog thing to go, oh, we're going away, get them while they last, and then they're going to sit. Yo, we're under a whole new CEO at HP. Potaker's gone. We've got, we've got, uh, what's her name, Whitman, who's in charge, so... Oh, we'll it, it, wait, 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 now, 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 is that, would that be Meg Whitman? Yeah, she's a former eBay owner. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm not sure that's a good thing, given what happened under her tutelage at eBay and all of the people who basically got screwed. Um, but anyways. <laughs> There's been, there's been updates for WebOS, so I'm so, the problem is a touchpad is not a seven, not the seven inch thing. Seven inches is my, is my, is my deal. And I, and I, and I sent a request to, to BlackBerry, or RAM I should say, saying, look, you've got a fantastic bridge feature with your BlackBerry. Let's finish the bridge and make it pair with SMS, BBM, uh, and, 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 and phone calls to the playbook, back and forth. And I, and that, that I think would, and once they have the QNX phone, that it's a done deal. But WebOS still is uh, is pumping out. I just wish they'd have a seven inch. I just don't know what I would do with such a, a tablet that, that that is that big. But gosh, you know. I know what I'd do with the tablet that's that big, but that's me. You know. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the thing I may I may buckle and buy it, but because um, I don't know where BlackBerry's going to go with QNX and, and the BlackBerry phones. Um, and the Palm 3 is so perfect, the Palm 3 3, it slides out the keyboard and still gives you the full screen real estate. I don't like a smaller screen, and like like the Palm Pixie or a Blackberry has the smaller screen. And the I, I, right. I do like the slide out, but I prefer I the, the model like they did with the, G, with the G1 where it slides sideways rather than up like it does on the Yeah, there's a phone, um, it's a Windows phone. I want to say it's an H, it's called the HTC Pro? 7 Pro? Or... I know the one you're talking about. I can't remember its, it's name. It's a, it's a HTC phone where the, 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 the keyboard slides out, but it's landscape. And yeah. then you can rock the screen at an angle and type on it. If that phone had a front-facing camera um, and, and had and, and, you know, and had an operating system like WebOS or QNX or BlackBerry or QNX, I should say, that, that's the phone model I want. If, if, if it's possible to get, because I have a full screen. It, it, it's hard. possible to do, whether anybody will make it or not. You yeah. keep having the same complaint I do about hardware, and that you know the device you want and the way you want it. The problem is the industry isn't listening to you. It's like, it's like I want that. Make it, damn it. Like, <laughs> exactly. So, uh, well, you know, we'll see what happens. But man, I'm just. If the eBay prices come down. I, for, for the touch pads, you know, I may just come up on one of these shows and have it. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm trying to think, the Palm Tree 3s that are out there are AT&T ready, but yeah, I don't want to I was going to say, they're, they're available for AT&T mostly. You'll find some CDMA ones for like Verizon and Sprint. Yeah, but which means you're stuck. AT&T is going to activate it for me? Is my what, question. No, I no what, what, what you have to do is they're, take they're, the card from your current phone and just shove it in that one, and then uh, you're gonna have, to, and then you're gonna have to go in it and add the AT and T tower stuff, which means you're gonna need to get it unlocked. So, right. Uh, yeah, you, that's the same thing I had to do with this uh, G1 here. You know, this is a T-Mobile phone, but I went into it and I stuck my AT and T SIM card in it and I added the AT and T tower addressing because it was a valid card it addressed and connected. That's what you have to do. Was dark? Say that again. Uh, what was Dark going to say? We were talking all. Oh yeah, uh, Dark. What did you say? Not, nothing. You guys basically said what I was just going to say. So. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> um, there, there is hope for iPhone phone calls. There's hope. <laughs> there's, there's hope for iPhone phone calls. Apparently, uh, they work on Sprint. No. I, I think I think that actually has more to do with the new antenna. It may just. I, I have an inkling that my instinct is telling me. I, I think I said we said this in Iowa. There was a, a, a couple of phones, and I don't know the manufacturer, that had this problem because of the band or frequency. 
that it kept it could not keep maintain the connection with, with, with the towers because of just the way it would jump onto this frequency or band. Yeah, and so I basically they needed a helper to Yeah, something and I think the iPhone suffered that's my that's my because you can't I don't give a crap. What, you know, Europe is a different story, and, and their bands and frequencies are different. You know, they have like the quad band and all this other stuff in the United States. But here in the United States, I'm sorry, it's well known that the iPhone dropped the drop calls left and right, and, and um, did it from the 3G on up. And I think that the new antenna design, it, and it being actually two antennas in toggling, might might just overcome that mishap and improve call quality, but we'll see. We can hope. For all those poor iPhone users. God, no, none of them give a crap. They're all either texting or playing games. Oh, that's true. They're all sheep. Phone, phone, phone calls are secondary. You know, it actually, I think that was a more... you're not people. I can legitimately say that without being insulting. No, no, I know that. You know what? I, maybe, maybe it was a... Maybe, maybe it was a marketing ploy because they figured phones would interrupt. The, they figured phone calls would interrupt the gaming experience. <laughs> what about texting? <laughs> uh, okay, it, it's it's begun. We have all the cheap. Uh, you know, you know let, there, there's going to be a low-cost iPad. You know, there's going to be a low-cost iPhone, low-cost iPhone. It's going to be a low-cost iPad. Now, it's now the rumor because they're expecting an iPad announcement. Am I the only one who thinks this is more bullshit? And if the, if it exists at all, it's going to be just like Apple has done for the last bajillion yada yadas. Hi, the old model's now cheaper. <laughs> it's like... Well, uh, let me say this. It didn't happen with the second generation, which I thought it would have, because Apple, if it drops prices, usually does it within the second gen. Um, it, 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 I, you can't rule it out. I mean, I'm trying to remember my history here. The MacBook Air, it was the second, third generation that dropped it. No, it was the second one. The first the one was like ridiculously price. priced, and the second one became, became just overpriced. <laughs> Now, it is possible. See, I always say that I don't believe any of the pundits or analysts that say, oh, it costs Apple $320 to make this or HP. I, I think it, I already said this on another show, I have insiders through in the pipes, and the cost of manufacturing these things is far lower than what analysts are saying. And which, which, which specifically states why Apple is making money hand over fist by keep <laughs> maintaining price points, right? Um, they certainly have room to make the uh, iPad cheaper. But Apple more times than not adds more features keeping the same price point, right? But tablets are at a sort of a plateau, if you will. I mean, look, what is the iPad, what, what else are they going to add to it? It's got a dual-core GPU. A dual, a dual core CPU. They could add one of the quad core ARM chips that are out. That's, you're getting, that's overkill, I think, there's one. They could possibly. They, they could, could up, possibly they could the, up the screen re real estate. Yeah, they, they could they could possibly drop the price. I mean, they, they, uh, I would rule it out. Um, you could enter this room multitasking, too. <laughs> I just wish Ren would drop the price of the damn playbook. Uh, more like in the hundred, like like two hundred dollar range is where the playbook needs to be. Well, Rem's got their own set of problems though right now. I mean, they have this massive BlackBerry outage. Uh, <laughs> that was actually in part due to actual uh, backbone carriers that they were relied on. There was uh, a problem that the carriers didn't want to uh, notice. We had a backbone outage around the world. A lot of people didn't know that. Um, uh, services. Uh, that were a slow interruption for us because it just toggled over for BlackBerry that resided on those networks. What failed on BlackBerry's part was triggered by the network failure, but it was their backup servers in case of the failure that did not implement themselves correctly. I hate it when my backup doesn't turn on. <laughs> that is what failed for BlackBerry and it essentially made the news, but actually there was a, bit, a lot, much larger problem that happened on the backbone. Uh, for the carriers that, that 
took place. And that's why it went all over the world. Think about it. Come on, guys. Are we really going to assume and say, oh, yeah, all of a sudden Blackberry all over no, the world? It, no, it, it just creates a, it creates a little bit of a PR thing for them is what it does, you know, because it's... It, it, it's Failed. It's yet another time something has gone wrong with the BlackBerry network, and it doesn't really matter whose fault it is. There's all the BlackBerry people are like, uh, I can't tell you. Almost everybody I work with is all BlackBerry. But no, I know, and I'm I'm sure they were like, what happened? What happened? What happened? <laughs> it's like it's, it's so funny. I have. I, I, this is why I also say like a lot of times Apple products are fads. I have, a, I have, so I, I, and maybe it's just the circles, my circles, uh, but I know some people that, because, you know, because of the business, they own the, they own the, of the BlackBerry, and then they also buy an iPhone. And when they buy the iPhone, and, and, and you know, my colleague and I were discussing it today, it's so much like like a status symbol. It's like if you have an iPhone, you've reached that elite status. You know how there's, there's always those products that if you own that product, no matter if it's, if, if it stinks like shit and it looks like shit, you gotta have it. Because society says that that damn thing is is, is, is You know, I, I have never been one of those people. I uh, never care. Uh, uh, stuff. Now, uh, certainly iOS, I, I'm not going to, I'm not calling it, uh, you know, I'm not calling it an absolute description. But what I'm saying is that uh, a large proportion I've always maintained because uh, too, many, too many people have these bike brakes and iPhones. And then when it comes to, to writing an email, or answering something in, 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 in SMS, or doing some sort of task, like uh, Cub Scouts, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, den, I'm a den leader. There's, there they have like a Blackberry and iPhone, and I'll, they'll, they'll do everything productive on the Blackberry, but the fun stuff is on the iPhone. It's just interesting how it works out that way. I can't tell you how many people that I know that own a Blackberry and an iPhone, and everything that is productive gets done on the rim product, and if it's fluff and happiness in the air, it's done on, done on the iPhone. You know what? I bet the, 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 every time somebody calls it fluff, I just think here's what you need to do. You need to like have like a fake triple and do it in apple colors <laughs> and call it your fluff. It, it, it's fluff to me, but that is the thing. Look, the game, Games and all this other stuff are very profitable. That's fine. You know, look, I mean, good lord, Xbox 360, PlayStation, iOS, even on Android. I mean, games are games, you know? It's, yeah, it's, I, I know. It's, it, 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 like I, you say, it's a Game Boy. But it goes against, uh, again, what is the context of my argument? In the days where desktop operating systems were argued, us PC people did not even game. On our custom PC, which lowly gamers they never did anything productive, and that's what I'm saying. It's now the tables are turned. And that's my. <laughs> no, but see, that that's the Apple fanboy mentality right there. It's wrong until I want to do it. Then it's then it's Apple's yeah, gift so. to the universe. You know, it's like <laughs> it's yeah. just. Ah. Wait, because we're we're dark as. Uh, no, he just called back in. As a matter of fact, he just flashed over you while you were talking and went, Bee -bee. It's like, he bucked out for a moment. <laughs> so he hasn't heard anything you just said. <laughs> it's like, no, I have not. <laughs> uh, 